we want to find the area of triangle PQR given the three vertices, which are points in space. We can find this area using vectors, where if we have a triangle formed by vector V and vector W, the area of that triangle is equal to one-half times the magnitude of the cross product of vector V and vector W. So before we find this area, let's take a look at these three points in our triangle in space. So here are the three points, and notice how I've formed the triangle. The blue point is point P, and the red points, these two points here, are points Q and R. So what we'll do is find vector PR and PQ, which are these blue vectors, the vector here and the vector here. Because these two vectors form the triangle, we can use them to find the area of this triangle. So we'll find their cross product, then we'll find the magnitude of the cross product, then we'll multiply by one-half to find the area of the triangle. Let's go back and find the area of this triangle. We want to begin by determining vector PQ and vector PR in component form. To do this, we'll take the terminal coordinates and subtract the initial coordinates of the two points. So for vector PQ, the x component would be one minus negative five. The y component would be negative six minus five. And the z component would be six minus negative five. So vector PQ would have an x component of six, a y component of negative 11, and a z component of positive 11. And now for vector PR, the x component would be two minus negative five, the y component would be negative three minus five, and the z component would be four minus negative five. So vector PR, has an x component of seven, a y component of negative eight, and a z component of positive nine. Now that we have the two vectors that form the triangle, we'll find their cross product. And we'll do this using a three by three determinant. So the first row will be the unit vectors i, j, and k. For the second row, we'll use the components of vector p, q, so we have six, negative 11, 11. The third row will be the components of vector PR, so we'll have seven, negative eight, and nine. This will be equal to a two by two determinant times the unit vector I minus a two by two determinant times vector J plus a two by two determinant times vector K. And now to find the elements in this first two by two determinant, We'll eliminate the row and column of vector i, so we eliminate row one, column one. The remaining elements are the elements in this first determinant. So we have negative 11, 11, negative eight, and nine. Next, we'll eliminate the row and column of the unit vector j. So we'll eliminate row one again, but we'll now eliminate column two. So the remaining elements will be six, 11, seven and nine. And then for this last determinant, we eliminate the row and column of unit vector k. So we eliminate row one again, but now we eliminate column three. So this would give us six, negative 11, seven, and negative eight. And now we'll write this first determinant. Here we'll have negative 99 minus negative 88, which becomes negative 99 plus 88, so we have negative 11i. Here we'll have minus and then 54 minus 77, which is negative 23. So we have minus negative 23, which becomes plus 23j. And then finally we have plus negative 48 minus negative 77, which is negative 48 plus 77, which is equal to positive 29. So we have plus 29 times vector k. Now that we know vector pq crossed with vector pr has an x component of negative 11, a y component of 23, and a z component of 29, the next step will be to find the magnitude of this vector. So the magnitude of our cross product is equal to the square root of negative 11 squared 
plus 23 squared plus 29 squared, which is equal to the square root of, I already entered this in, it comes out to 1,491. Which means the area of our triangle is equal to one half times this magnitude. And we'll go ahead and get a decimal approximation using the calculator. We have one half or point five times the square root of one thousand four hundred ninety one, which is approximately nineteen point three zero six seven, and this would be square units. So this is the approximate area of the triangle formed by these three points in space which we see here. I hope you found this helpful.